Welcome into the Oberg Post Game Report. I'm your host, Ryan McNamara. An overtime thriller down at the Herb Brooks National Hockey Center ends in a 5-4 victory for the St. Thomas Tommies over the St. Claude State Huskies. That was an onslaught offensively. We saw plenty of action. Nine total goals, including three in that final period. St. Claude State saw a ton of action offensively early. Let's jump right into the highlights. St. Claude State was looking to clear up some questions as Brett Larson saw his team finish 25, 13, and 3 last year, losing Yami Kronola and Grant Cruikshank. Who will fill those holes? Well, Barrett Hall said, I can do that real quickly. Found the back of the net on a tip in from Vidi Mietnin. The sixth round draft pick for the Tampa Bay Lightning got to work quickly on the power play. Just two minutes into the game, the Huskies lead 1 0, but it wouldn't have to take long for St. Thomas to even things right back up and even strength goal for Jake Bersini, one of 13 first or second year guys on this Tommy roster. They're building something over there and it looks good. Now Dylan Anhorn feeding VD Mietnin, but Aaron Trotter, what a savior on the left side of the net, able to use the webbing, not an easy thing to do, finds it in the glove. Now Dylan Anhorn this time gets it done himself. A Hobie Baker nominee for a reason finds the top left corner to give the Huskies a two to one lead working into the second period. His first goal since that injury back in February. Now here once again, St. Thomas evens things up. It's Cameron Recce on the other side. He finds the back of the net as once again, the offense continues to provide for St. Thomas, but it does so for the Huskies as well. Nick Ports and Zach Okabe team up on the other end. Okabe's 96 point in Husky uniform, Ports is first. The St. Cloud native gets the assist there, but on the other end, Luke Manning on the power play. The goal number 25 of his career. It's the third of the game for the Tommies as we work tied three to three going into the third period. Matthew Gleason powers up and gives the Tommies their first lead of the game, but on the other end, it didn't take too long for Vidi Mietnin on a 6-4 advantage to find the back of the net for the first time this season. He had three points in the game, and now Ryder Donovan, the game winner, found the back of the net as the St. Thomas Tommies take the victory against St. Cloud for the first time in their Division I history. 5-4, as you see the sloppiness, 17 penalty minutes for the Huskies, 12 for St. Thomas as St. Cloud State drops their first game of the year for the first time since 2015. So they're definitely looking for something to prove going on the road tomorrow. Now our three stars of the game. The first one is an obvious one. It's the man who had the game winner, Ryder Donovan in the St. Thomas sweater, found the back of the net to give the Tommies a 5-4 victory. Mietnin with a goal and two assists. The second star, Manning with a goal and two assists as well. The third star of the game. Now let's take a look at our plays to the game. We will start with the Deerwood Bank check of the game. And this one saw Mason Salquist get to work on the offensive end. We can know he can get it done on the faceoff dot, but here showing some aggression as Ethan Gower and him see tensions flare in front of the St. Thomas net as St. Thomas would hold on defensively. Dominic Bassey here on a five on three, able to use a right blocker save to keep things even. And Ryder Donovan in overtime, the game winner sends St. Thomas home with a victory for the first time against St. Cloud State. Now, St. Cloud, the Huskies head on the road tomorrow down to St. Thomas looking for a sweep. You won't want to miss it.